Hey everyone, it's Passpoint One Comics. I finally have an unboxing here and I'm gonna show them to you in a second, but I wanted to give out some shout outs beforehand. Uh, the first one is Gary B, the casual comic guy. I found him on YouTube and I started communicating with him. He's got a great channel and he's always giving shout outs to other YouTubers. So Gary, this shout out is for you. Next one up is a Legion of Comics. I also found him on YouTube, but he's on Instagram. I love the way he does his videos. So I just kind of sent him a message on Instagram asking him, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that on your videos? And he was very kind uh, enough to reply to me. So it gave me some ideas on how to improve my videos. Next one is Justin Comics. I also found him on YouTube first. He was doing some comic book pressing. Uh, I found his uh, Instagram page and I sent him a message asking him how he does his pressing and I, you know, explained how I did mine. It's always nice just to compare how people do pressing, you know, so you can pick up stuff and, and say, hey, you know, I never thought of that. So Justin, thanks a lot. And next up is Rage Theo. I've been following Rage on uh, Instagram for a while now. He does great sales on Instagram and whatnot. And... Um, I sold him one of my little X-Men holograms so you can take to get it signed by Jim Lee, which he did. But besides that, every time I ask him questions about sale, selling comic books, plus I've sold a couple of times, but I had some more questions about it, you know, what he likes or what he dislikes. And, you know, he replied, you know, almost right away. So I always appreciate that. Next up is the Comics Lounge. I found him on Instagram first. And then I started following him on YouTube. He always has great um, topics on Instagram and also on YouTube. And I love his introductions to his videos. So I asked him how he did them or who did them for him. And he and he told me he, it was done by C-List E-Man. Um, I found him on Instagram, um, C-List. And we started talking. It turns out he's from the Bay Area like I was originally and we're both San Francisco Giants fans. So we bonded over that almost immediately. Really nice guy. He got my uh, point of view of what I wanted in my introductory video. And uh, he incorporated some of orange and black, which are the Giants colors. I think the introductory video, it came out great. I'm not just saying that because it's mine. It's really nice. And I'm gonna have a new introductory video, obviously for you after these um, shout outs. So those are the shout outs I wanted to give this week. Um, whomever watches my videos, you know, I always appreciate it. Comic books are a passion of my life. And like I said, I have some unpacking to do. I'm going to tell you who they came from. I'm going to unpack them and then I'm going to show you the books that I got recently. But now on to my new introduction. I hope you like it. to mention to you that everybody who I mentioned shout outs to I will have a link to their uh, YouTube channel or Instagram page in the description below and I have some unboxings for for you that I've gone within the last week or two I'm just gonna tell you where they came from and then I'm gonna cut the chat cut the video I'm gonna unbox everything and then you'll see everything that I got so the first ones came from uh, TFAW this one came from uh, the Comic Mint. This next one came from uh, JT Ripple Pressing and Recasters. I've mentioned them before in the past. They do a live sale every Wednesday of comic books that came out that week. So I bought two of them. I just haven't opened them up. <laughs> so I'm gonna open them up um, in a couple minutes. And this one came from uh, Big Time Collectibles. And the last one I got came from the IG comic store. So I'm gonna do all these unboxings and I'm gonna open them up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I did my unboxing. I'm gonna show you the books in a second. But before I go any further, I saw the most recent episode of What If on Disney Plus. It was What If 4. It was Doctor Strange themed episode. 
and it took a dark turn quick. Um, if nobody's been watching, um, if you don't know what What If was on Disney Plus, basically it's What If um, a certain character in um, Marvel, you know, universe. If it was this story took a turn, like a right hand turn, you know, opposite of what he would normally do, and it goes from there. And yesterday was the fourth episode, and like I said, it was Doctor Strange themed, and it got dark quick. Let me put it to you this way. There was no happy ending, <laughs> okay? But uh, before I go any further, um, thanks again for watching these videos of mine. And I'm going to do another one probably in a couple days. I uh, hope you watch it. So these are just recent um, unboxings that I got um, through, um, that I bought. And some of them I, f I completely forgot that I even bought the books. But away we go. First one is... Strange, I mean, Star Wars, The High Republic's Adventure. It's a new series. It's number one. This is The Monster of Temple Peak. I haven't even had a chance to look at this one yet, but uh, I'm going to read it as soon as I can. Next up, we have, like I think, a second printing of The Nice House on the Lake by DC Comics. Next up, we have uh, some Captain, or a Captain Marvel book by In Hugh Lee. The cover. I like this cover. I think this one came out in a virgin cover too, but it was a lot more expensive. I said, nah, I'm just going to stick with this one. <laughs> this one um, is Daredevil number 33. I've been reading Daredevil. It's a really good series. I highly recommend it. He's in jail right now, um, and Elektra has taken his place as the, you know, as Daredevil. In Hell's Kitchen, and um, it's a like I said, it's a, I highly recommend this series. It's very entertaining. Next up, we have the Defenders number one. This is a cover by a Peach Momoko, and it has a Silver Surfer on the cover. This one was a there's a version cover for this one also, but like I said, it was so expensive, and I told myself, hey, as much as I like version covers or variant covers, I'm just trying to stick to the normal priced books at least for now <laughs> uh, this one is eat the rich by boom studios i believe this is by jenny frizon going by the title i think you'll get a hint of what's it about <laughs> i'm not gonna go any further than that i did read the first issue uh, let me see what else here we got a couple of other eat the rich i bought more than one of them Like I said, these were normally priced. They would go between about three to four dollars. I'm trying to um, avoid buying um, virgin covers or variant covers. They're great and everything, but they're just so expensive, and I just don't want to do that right now. Unless I see one that really catches my eye, and I will buy it. But besides that, I try not to see them. <laughs> and here is one more Eat the Rich. Next up, we have The Trial of Magneto. In a recent um, X-Men book, um, spoiler alert here, Scarlet Witch is dead and they're trying to figure out who killed her and it's all pointing to Magneto. So I haven't read the first uh, chapter of this new series, but here's a couple of books, uh, covers of this book. I believe this one is by Mark Brooks. Not sure who the artist is on this one. I'll try to find it and put it in uh, underneath here if I do. Uh, but I like the cover. And this last one is by a Stanley Lau, or he's known also as Art Germ. Like I said, this one also was a, a version cover, a lot more expensive, and I didn't want to buy it. <laughs> I wanted to, but I didn't. And those are the most recent regular books. And the last two are CGC books. I didn't even remember buying this book, but I'm glad I did. This is uh, Something is Killing the Children, number one, by Boom Studios. It's an eighth printing. hope this fits in here. And it does. hope it's not much of a glare. And my last book is from the IG Comic Store. It's Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 25. I think it's a really cool looking uh, cover. So I decided to buy this. Oops, I decided to buy this one also. And it came with like a little uh, sports card of it too, of the cover. 
I thought it was pretty cool. So um, this was, uh, like I said, I haven't been getting too many boxes in the mail. So I let them, you know, pile up a little bit, so to speak. And then I, you know, I just wanted to show you these. My next video is going to be, um, I've been doing some uh, pressing and cleaning on some books and I'm going to send them off to CBCS. So they're all ready to go. I'm going to show you which ones I'm going to be sending and um, that will be my next video. So once again, this is Efren from Passpoint One Comics. Everybody be safe and take care and I hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, if you go buy comic books, buy the ones you like. Everybody be safe and take care.